Hello and welcome back. Uh, in this video, let's go ahead and jump in and start uh, making our permissions work. And we, in the last video, we created these ACL files. Um, the one we're going to really focus on right now is this ACL.json. And what we need to do is go into our core folder and we're going to open up our router class. We're going to control our access in this route. Um, and so what happens is we have, uh, inside of our route now, we have the controller and action and the params and all that. Well, what we're going to do is after this action, and, but before params, we're going to decide if someone has access to visit the action or the controller or the action that they just went to. So what we're going to do here, let's just go ahead and um, do an ACL check. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to say uh, grant access is going to be equal to uh, and we're going to create a static method inside this class but it's going to be called has access Ooh. access okay and we're going to pass in the controller uh, yeah we'll pass in the controller name and we're also going to pass in the action name okay so that'll, that'll uh, well, this is how we want it to work. Uh, so, so what we're gonna do is if they, uh, if they don't have, they don't have access or permission to access it, what we're gonna do is we're going to change the controller name to, and we're also gonna change the controller and we'll change both of those to access restricted. Now we haven't, we'll uh, create that in just a second. And then we're gonna also uh, change the action to uh, index action, okay? Um, so that'll override whatever they're going to if they don't have this access. Uh, real quick, before we get carried away, um, let's go ahead and create the public static function. Uh, what do we call that? Has access. And for now, all we're going to do in here is return false. That's all we're going to do uh, because we're going to test something else. Now we need to send them somewhere. Uh, so let's uh, look in our uh, config file and let's set up the let's see we have we called it access restricted so let's um, go ahead and define the access restricted constant um, and I'm just going to uh, put restricted that's going to be the controller okay and I'll put in here controller name for the restricted redirect. All right, so we have that. So then what we're going to do is in our controllers, we're going to create a new file. And we're going to call that restricted.php. All right, so we'll open up some PHP tags. And we're not going to close it, and we'll go ahead and class restricted uh, extends uh, controller. Uh, let's grab, open up another one in here, and we'll grab, copy and paste is beautiful. Um, yep, so right here for our index action, let's just change this to restricted index, okay? So now we need to create a view. So uh, what we're going to do is create a new folder, and we'll call that restricted. 
And inside there, we're going to create a new file called index.php. And let's just open up another view to copy. Just make this quick. Change this first tools to access restricted. And in the body, uh, let's just say you do not have permission to access this page. Okay, that's good for now. Um, so let's let's test this really quickly. Um, what should be happening is anything I go to now, no matter what, uh, at the moment should take us to this. Yeah, you do not have permission to access this page. So um, that's a good thing because what we did was, and I'll let you guys uh, adjust what your message here. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this. That's all we're doing for restricted. We don't need the config file anymore. We'll close this and close this. So what's happening is inside of our route, it's doing this ACL check and then it's checking if it has access and then we're, we're just we got hard-coded return false there and because of that this here is not evaluating to true well this is evaluating to true so it's going inside here and it's updating our controller uh, name and our controller to that restricted and then our action is the index action so that's why it goes to that um, that page but now what we want to do is we want to start making that has permission uh, work correctly or has access. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Um, in we Remember we passed in the controller name and the action name. So inside of our uh, has access here, let's just go ahead and controller name action name okay and under action name we need to give that a default because um, you know we're not gonna have people type in an index uh, to go to the index action so if they don't pass an action name it's just gonna pass index so so here's what we're gonna do remember we created this acl.json file so what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually um, grab that so we'll say acl file is equal to file get contents and let's see here we're gonna say um, p root ds app Yes. Dot. A oh, ACL. Dot. JSON. Okay. And then what we're gonna do is let's go ahead and um, say ACL is gonna be equal to. We'll do a JSON decode, and we're gonna decode ACL file. So what that should do is take this entire uh, JSON string and turn it into an array. So let's just dump and die that really quickly to make sure that we get our path correct here. Uh, let's see, I missed something. Okay, so I figured out what the problem is. Um, this right here is the path. It's just root, it's not pROOT. And the reason is, is like in our index, uh, .php, we define root here, which gets the directory name. Since this is in the core root of our project, um, this returns the full uh, server path. So that's what we need here. Uh, root, and then app. These, this DS we also defined here, which is just our directory separator. So on Linux uh, servers, it's uh, the forward slash. Uh, so it's the root forward slash app forward slash acl.json. 
And so when I refresh now, we get uh, this is an object. So let's go ahead and here in the JSON decode as a second parameter do uh, true. And what that will do is convert this when it JSON decodes, it's going to be an associative array instead of an object. So go ahead and refresh that. And now you can see we have an array. And we have two elements in this array. We have guest and we have logged in. And inside of that we have our denied and everything. So this creates an array. So now we have an array of our data from our ACL file in our router. So we're going to continue on here. And what we want to do is next is um, we're going to create uh, uh, an array. And we're going to say current uh, user ACLs. And that's going to be equal to an array. And in that array, we're just going to put uh, guest. So that by default, everyone has a guest, even if they're not logged in. Um, so then what I want to do is I'm going to do um, uh, grant access. Set that equal to false by, by default. And then we're going to go ahead and see if the, there's a logged in user. Um, so if session exists, current user session name. So if that's true, then that means somebody's logged in. So then what we're going to do is we're going to say we're going to add to the current um, user ACLs. Whoops. We're going to add to that and we're going to say um, we're going to add the logged in. Okay. So then what we can do is uh, we can uh, well let's also I'm going to show you another way that this is going to be really powerful. So then what we're going to do is we're going to say for each current user uh, ACLs as a sure we'll do as a because we already used ACL um, so for each current user ACLs and we'll create this ACLs method in a little bit um, we're also going to add to the current user ACLs that ACL um, and then after this let's um, Let's go ahead and dump and die current user ACLs. And let's see what we got so far. Refresh. So guest. Um, let's see. Let me, I'm going to, let's go ahead and true for right now just to um, make it to where I can log in so I'm gonna do register login so I'm gonna log in as my, myself here let's go ahead and log in I'll stay logged in for the rest of the time uh, you now I see that the user ACLs isn't isn't defined so um, Let's go ahead and add that. And the way that we're going to do that is um, we're going to add that to our user model, obviously, because it's look we did the current user. So in here, we're just going to create a new function down here at the bottom, or new method rather. So public function ACLs. What this is going to do is it's just going to um, uh, let's see if empty so if empty this ACLs it's going to return uh, an empty array and then what I want to do um, 
if that's not, then we're going to do a J return a JSON decode this ACLs as an associated array. So now, if I refresh the page, um, let's see, let me get rid of this true here, and then we're going to dump and die this. Alright, so now that I'm logged in, my current ACLs are guessed and logged in. Uh, what's cool about this now is, you know when I told you that we can add additional ACLs? If I, in the database, add um, some ACLs here, I'm just going to add one called um, gold. Uh, I'll add another one. We'll call it silver. So what should happen now, oops. So what should happen now if I refresh, uh, oh I know, I know what's wrong. Um, we have to go back to the user's model and in the database that's called ACL. So I need to see this is ACL, not ACLS. Refresh. Okay, so now I have guest ACLs, plus I'm logged in, so I have those ACLs just from being logged in. And then any additional overrides uh, I can add to the ACLs in the database for per member or per user. So I have gold and silver as well. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just empty those out though. I just wanted to put that in as an example. You can just put uh, a JSON object uh, or a JSON array there or an object of just a list, okay? So refresh again, I should just have guessed and logged in. Perfect.